welcome to Products Natura. I am back for another content and today we are going to talk about hernia. Why I have to talk about hernia? Well, some people or some patient will put this aside because they don't want to bother about going to the doctor, discuss what will be the solution for the hernia and they are just going to go to the doctor until it is already, already and able to manage the pain or I call it intolerable pain. So let's begin right now and stay tuned. Welcome back to Products Natura. I'm your natural health joint person. My video content is all about my experience regarding about my health, previous, and my current health situation. But today I will be talking absolutely not related to my health because I never experienced hernia but because I knew that this topic a lot of people sometimes kind of put this behind or sit aside because they have so many things to deal with aside from focusing in dealing hernia until the time is ticking and the pain is intolerable and that's the time they decided to go to the doctor and talk about it what should be done one of my friends had a surgery and that's why I wanted to share to you because I was a bit part of it and the process of helping uh, my friend what should be done and what are the other options and what the choices of my friend decided and discussed with the physician that he is dealing at the time so I want you to understand what is the hernia so hernia means it is a protrusion of an anatomy. Hernia it is a protrusion of an anatomical structure to the wall that is normally contained, or it means a bulge caused by tissue pushing through the wall of muscle that is holding. Here in Product Satura, I discuss about medical terminology and why this is so important and why do I have to add this here in my channel. It's because it's easier for you, especially when you go to your doctor and you heard a word for the first time. Of course, the doctor or nurse practitioner will translate that to the basic English in order for you to understand the word itself. But just to give you at least a little bit of information since I studied medical terminology and that's part of my job when I have to do a transcription or transcribe. So all of that I have to learn. So hernia itself, if you can look at the screen, what's the meaning of hernia? In medical terminology, it's break 
down into two voids or three voids. But hernia itself, it's a protrusion of an organ where the organ is in, in a regular place but then it moves to a place that is not supposed to be and that is the word comes protrusion. Now the typical or most common hernia that patient encounter are the ones that I'm going to mention but it depends to the situation and it depends also to the gender and also infants may experience hernia and that is called congenital or congenital hernia but let's begin with the inguinal hernia again if you're going to look at the screen we break it down as well in green or green and the AL the solids the very end the next one is the umbilical hernia or the navel and again we break it down the umbilical it comes from the word umbilicus and the AL again easy to remember pertaining to the next one is the word vertical so when you hear the word vertical it's easy to understand but in medical terminology it goes more in depth what does it mean and if you're gonna look at the screen I also added picture so that you will understand which part of the abdomen this type of hernia that I mentioned to you the next one is the hiatal hernia so again look at the screen and you will understand which part is it. Everything on that picture is bulging, but as you can see, I put the names designated to where is that hernia parts of the abdomen. And the next one is femoral hernia. So again, it's a in-depth word. It's femur, it's about the thigh or the thigh bones or the tights, but then because it's closer to the long legs, so that's why it's called femoral hernia. Please do check it out the link that I have to give it to you at the description below because that is the link in FDA and you will learn a lot because there's a lot more for you to explore about the medical and just for curiosity if you don't have any medical health issues or if you don't have anything that uh, you're worried about it's just for you to explore and additional learning that is a very good link for you just check the description below if the a and the medical institute it's a college or university in chicago there's two links that is available for you to check it out